Javi, Eugene from Fusion Source. Today we are going to unbox a GTEC A10M Dual Extruder 3D printer. This box, all tattered and torn, finally arrived on my doorstep after a trip halfway around the world. So let's get started. I really want to get this thing open and let's see. So let's see if my printer is still in one piece. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't you love opening up new boxes? Oh yeah. I really just hope there's no broken parts inside this. Let me cut my children. Never cut towards yourself. There we go. Okay, so what do we have? First thing, nice single page, double-sided instruction manual. A piece of polystyrene. Oops. Okay. Over here, another polystyrene. This is the uh, LCD. Right, now comes the tricky part of getting this thing out. There's a lot of wires. Let's maybe take that wire out. And let me take this out. That didn't feel good. All right, that looks like the base. And we've got some other stuff here. Oh, there we go. This, I've heard, is a really, really good build plate. Uh, apparently, it sticks really well and releases nicely. So we'll have a look at that. Where's this famed mouse pad? Okay. We've got... What the... Oh, that's blue stuff. Okay. Here's some filament. There's two samples of filament, unless the ones are cleaning filament. Two Bowden tubes. Some of that blue stuff, which we'll show just now. A USB cable. Here's the mouse pad that I've heard so much about that everybody loves. Okay. And over here, we've got some clips for the glass. One gigabyte SD card. Could they spare it? Anyway, okay. Some screws. Some long screws. Oh, and there's the runout sensors. I've also heard about this. This is really nice. I'm excited to have runout sensors. All right. Here we've got the set up for the two spool holders. All right, now, this is the upright gantry. Gosh, I'm running out of space here. Not very well planned. Let's put that over there. Okay, one extruder. Second extruder. A couple of screws and stuff inside here that are orphaned, poor things. So I don't know where these go, but anyway, they often screws and lock nuts. Right, it looks good. Okay, and then the power supply. Not a 3D printed, it's uh, plastic extruded. And I think that's it. Why does it still feel so heavy? Yep, that's it. Okay, that's all that stuff. Right, let's get that out the way. So, oops. What, else, what do we have here? We've got the, this is our Z gantry. Here's the Z gantry with your X and your, this is nice. This is nice. This is not on my uh, my ender. I'll talk about my ender on a future video, but this is not on my ender. So I'm actually quite happy about that. All right. So that we'll put to one side. Oops. You can edit that out. Thank you, Jason. Right, this is the, right, that's the base with all the wires. Okay, let's put this thing together. So where do we start? Best thing is always to read the instructions. And at my age, I can't read it with my glasses. So, oh wow. Okay. This little piece here is to assemble it. That's the wiring. Gosh, they, they really are detailed. I must say, one quarter of a page. Right. How do we put this thing together? One. First thing. Use four times M5 by 45 millimeter screws and M5, sorry, four times M5 spring washers to put together the upper and bottom gantry frame. This is a lot easier than the ender. The ender was a lot more work. Unfortunately, I don't have a... a uh, unboxing of that one because we put that together before we did this. So, right, let's try this. More is the Okay, we got a little bag of tools here. 
And in the bag is an extra additional um, nozzle, which I'm going to store safely in my nice little bins over here. All right, let's take the tools out. All right, so I've got all my all my tools here. I've got all my screws. I've got my instructions, and I've got everything set to go. So step one, take two times M4 by 45s, which I'm sorry, four times, which are obviously these screws here. Okay, so let's do it this way. Let's get this one here. And... Okay, so the gantry's up. Let's get on to the step two. Right, step two is to bolt this on. But it'll be a bit silly to bolt this on first without doing the wiring. So I'm going to put the wire in now and then bolt it on. This is, let me show you guys. Ah, this is another big complaint that I've heard about this printer uh, from other people. This ribbon cable is very flimsy. A very flimsy, very simple design that is hooked in there. So anyway. Let's clip it in so it'll go into this little section over here. What you can do is just pull this black tab forward like that. You insert it with the blue up and you lock it in place. And that's it. Now it's in. Right now, what screws do I need here? I need the M5 10 mil. There we go, there's step two, done, finished. Okay, step three, attach the power supply unit. Now we take the power supply unit and this. Twenty mil. There's the first one. There we go, power supplies in. Next thing, the two extrude amounts. These are going to go at the top. Thanks. I'll tighten those up just now. Next step is the one, and then there's the other one. Now, I must say, the only thing that concerns me about this setup, I think it goes like that. So it's going to put a quite a bit of um, pressure on our on our gantry here. But we can try something later on with it. What is nice is you can either mount it this way or this way because the holes are drilled in that way. But I would not suggest mounting it, sorry, that way. I wouldn't suggest mounting it this way because it will put an unnatural uh, bend on the filament. This way will be far better, far better bend on the filament. There we have it. It's put together. Now we'll do the electrical part. I don't know why there are so many screws left over, but anyway, we will probably get to that. Ah, I did forget something. Oh, I really like these filament runout detectors. Um, they've got a really clever ball design that allows it to move in any, any angle without getting uh, tied up. Here we go. That's done. Now let's get on to the wiring. So the first item on that was putting the Bowden tubes in. I think I'm going to replace this with Capricorn tubing. I will talk about Capricorn tubing. Amazing stuff. There we go. Now it tells you to crawl in underneath here inside here and try to put this cable in. That's why I put it in before we screwed it down. So 
Wonderful idea, that. Uh, let's plug the 24 volts in. Then on the gantry over here, we have a, a nice plug. This I like. Oops. Just like with my ender, I think I'll print some chains for this because there's a lot of cables lying around all over the place here. Yeah? There we have it. That's it. Wow, it was actually really easy to put this together. What took about, I'd say about 25, 30 minutes to put it together. There we go, we've got power. You can get this printed directly from GTEC for $299 off their website. But Banggood is currently running a special with this printer of $239, excluding shipping. We also got the TL Touch, which is the uh, GTEx equivalent to the BL Touch. Uh, that's been shipped as well. But unfortunately, for some odd reason, they ship it in a separate package. So I'm expecting that in, in May sometime to arrive here. So um, at the moment, we're going to have to do manual bed leveling. Well, that's it for this video of the unboxing and the uh, assembly of the GTEC A10M. We're going to leave you with it printing something in the background here. Thank you so much. Have a great day. If you like this, please like the video. Subscribe to my channel. It's a new channel. We're building this channel up. So that's it. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Bye.